You have heard many messages here about love and respect for others, how it's important to live your life in the service of others and how to be in loving high frequency states for as long and as often as possible. But all of this won't be possible until you start loving yourself. You can't give away what you don't have. First you need to love yourself and then you'll be able to love others. Loving yourself is a concept absent from our current lifestyle. In fact, the opposite is being reinforced throughout your childhood and education. You're conditioned to believe that who you are is never good enough. The whole system is designed on the notion of you being in conflict with yourself. It is an approval system where you don't trust yourself and you need to check everything with someone else first. It's not difficult to dislike or even reject yourself. After all, your idea of yourself is borrowed from those who have no idea who they are themselves. The entities talk about the importance of loving and accepting yourself a lot and I'll tell you now what I was told and what I experienced interacting with them. You're watching this video thanks to the generous supporters of the structure. If you find this video helpful, please head over to join.b434.com where you will find a number of methods to help this channel and others by joining Patreon and Subscribestar or by using PayPal, bank transfer or cryptocurrencies. Just a quick reminder that we're meeting in the UK this and next month and if you want to join us go to meet.b434.com, all links in the video description. Discovering yourself is one of the main reasons why I'm such a big fan of plant medicine and mind-altering substances. I learned how to love myself on a heroic trip as a part of my ego death experience when I was allowed to see my true self. Mushrooms removed all layers of fear, self-defense mechanisms, past experience trauma and all of the emotional baggage I collected throughout my life and they showed me who I really was. They showed me myself as I was when I came here and it was heartbreaking to see that my real self is that of a child I once was, which means that this was the last time when I accepted myself for who I was. It seemed from that moment on the rest of my life was self-doubt and self-rejection. I cannot imagine learning the truth about myself without Mushroom's help. It was only then that I saw myself not as a destroyer of myself, but as a victim of myself. It was absolutely shocking to learn that at the age of 35 I felt love for myself for the first time in my adult life. I think it's safe to make an assumption that big majority of people here reaches their last days without ever experiencing self-love. And it's really sad because your life is not complete without accepting, respecting, appreciating and loving yourself. In one of the messages the entities told me loving yourself is so important. Most people know what finding the right partner does to their life. It feels so good that your life turns upside down. You create a whole new life together, you change for each other, you start paying more attention to your appearance and so on. All of this because someone loves you back. The same happens when you start loving yourself. When you gain the ability to make yourself feel better, you change your life. It might sound like a strong exaggeration but once you experience self-love through the process of transcendental self-discovery you'll understand that it is true. It is mainly because when someone loves you, you mistakenly believe that it's something they give you. That's not true. The true reason why someone's love changes you is not what they offer to you, but how they make you feel about yourself. When someone loves you, they show you appreciation, respect and acceptance for who you are. They offer you their attention, their time, their energy. They dedicate themselves to you. They make you feel special through allowing you to be your true self. There is no exchange of anything tangible here. It's a subjective feeling that you yourself generate based on your perception of somebody else's actions and intentions. There is nothing stopping you from creating the same conditions for yourself. Even if you create a small fraction of that feeling, you will still be able to start the process of liberating yourself from your environmental and social conditioning. To access yourself, start looking at the world by being this curious little child you came here as. This happy entity you used to be before you started being buried under the layers of fear and responsibilities. Go back to the state of innocence where you were loving, full of joy and hope. So why do you need to accept yourself? The world around you is who you are. It is a reflection of what you think and how you feel about yourself. You can change it by changing the perception of yourself. Your whole life is happening in your head, not outside of it. It's unbelievable how much misery, self-deprecation and self-rejection introduces into one's life. I've seen a lot of people who spend their lives in disagreement with who they are and it is a sad thing to watch. It's an evolving process of personality decay with a countless number of life-changing consequences. Life fulfillment and success are strongly related to being able to find, accept and appreciate yourself. 
Remember, the only thing that matters is how you feel going through life. You can choose a path of self-rejection or self-love and self-acceptance. It is really a simple choice on which two completely different lives will be built. And it's not just about the quality of your existence here. You will help others by making the most of yourself. I was told, you have the strength and wisdom to be a support structure for people. You should be walking straight and be an example for others. That's real strength. That's real wisdom. Be calm and relaxed. Be stronger and more resilient to life. Being of service to others is based on the balance of strength and self-control. Be what you are. This is the first step toward becoming better than you are. There are no mistakes and no coincidences in this life. Everything is planned, including your personality. Accept your uniqueness, one of a kind, your mind, body and spirit. You cannot go through life by comparing yourself to others or competing with them. Love and respect yourself because of who and what you are. There is only one of you, a precious and irreplaceable combination of personality and experiences. It is all you have here. Make the most of it. Enjoy being you. Being yourself in the place where you should be is the goal of this life. Surround yourself with like-minded people who will allow you to be yourself. Let others get to know you and you will get to know yourself better. Let somebody accept your whole package with your positive and negative traits and in the process, gain the necessary confidence and faith in yourself. Believe in yourself and others will believe in you. Invite others to take part in the experience that is you. Let them gain something new by being in the presence of you experiencing things in your own unique way. By accepting yourself, you accept others and the world you all create. That's how you create harmony. Remember that it is so much easier discovering, growing and maintaining your true self rather than creating a cardboard replica of yourself to please somebody else. Do not define yourself by using external criteria trying to live up to somebody's expectations. Be your own creation. Get your self-approval by concentrating on your positive self-image. Do not chase after other people's permission to be. Follow your inner voice because the satisfaction and rewards from this will be disproportionately greater than what you would achieve with pretending to be somebody else. Freedom is what you're made of and what you strive for, even if you don't know it. Free yourself from the opinion of others to have the freedom to be yourself. As Lao Tzu said, do not place intermediaries between yourself and the divine. Don't make of yourself a beggar who looks outside for a treasure that is hidden inside his own breast. You move only within the realm of what you're familiar with. By accepting yourself, leaving your comfort zone and venturing the less traveled paths, you'll expand your horizons and you'll discover new paths. Don't feel stuck inside of yourself. You always grow. Even when you don't see it, you do. None of your effort is wasted and everything is a building block to a pre-aligned plan. Be in tune with what you're supposed to be and then everything will work out. Everything you receive is given to you so that you can synchronize with it and the key to making everything work is love. Love allows you to fine-tune everything and connect with everything. It also includes self-love. So how to love yourself? Don't be too hard on yourself because there are plenty of others willing to do that for you. How you see yourself is how others see you. You're informing others how they should treat you by the way you treat yourself. Take care of yourself the way you want others to take care of you. The people present in your life are a result of your attitude towards yourself. The ability to self-criticize is a very valuable trait. It allows you to achieve a lot of important things, but don't beat yourself too much. Sometimes you just wander off in the wrong direction. Trusting yourself also means allowing yourself to make mistakes. Mistakes mean you're trying and you're willing to make an effort. That's a beautiful thing. Stop feeling guilty all the time. Everything is the way it should be. You and your actions are a part of the plan. I was told that you don't have a good or a bad side. You just willingly pick the frequency you want to tap into and connect with. You just choose the frequency. You need to allow yourself to experience deep emotions because they represent the real you. The you you have problems getting to. They are important and constructive feelings that allow you to find and be yourself. You're constantly conditioned to believe that there is something wrong with you experiencing sadness, love, pain, excitement. It always seems that there is no place in your life to experience emotions. You're always told how to medicate your feelings, how to fight them or how to ignore them. But no one really teaches you how to experience and accept them. Your feelings are an expression of your true self. Your emotions are you. The deeper they are, the more accurately they show you who you are. 
Find the methods to dig deep to find out why you are the way you are and why you feel the way you feel. The more you know about yourself, the easier it will be to accept yourself. Make a list of all your positive traits and all your achievements. Notice and appreciate even the smallest accomplishments, everything you like and are proud of about yourself. Watch the list grow as you are consciously observing your life from a self-accepting perspective. Celebrate the progress. A lot of stress in your life is caused by resistance to your own thoughts. You waste so much energy on fighting and pushing yourself away. Let yourself be. Be an observer rather than a director in your life. Everything is the way it should be. Remember that no one fails the exam here. You are just learning and experiencing what you came here for. You are a remote consciousness in a simulation arena. It is not easy to control it from there. This training simulation is difficult for a reason. I was told, appreciate yourself and like yourself. You have plenty of reasons to be happy with yourself. You're here with the rest of the open-minded listeners, which means that you can see and understand the truth. That makes you very unique. It means that your path here is to go through incredibly valuable life lessons. You're not here to fight that which you came here with. You're here to grow that which you came here with. Are you allowing yourself to experience yourself fully? Or is your ego in control rejecting that which you were given to create internal harmony? Life is purely made of experiences and experiencing yourself is a part of this. Remember that even the things in life you don't like or don't understand are actually little bricks creating a framework on which everything in this world is being constructed. That includes everything you're made of. Everything around you is loving, you just have to open yourself to it. You will have access to the loving energy by letting it flow through you and you can only achieve it by internal harmony with who you are. Concentrate on the qualities you like about yourself and the energy will intensify and strengthen everything that's great about you. Be the amplifier of the energy that wants to flow through you. Love434 Please like and share this video and I hope this video can help you improve your life. If it does, please think about supporting this channel. Go to join.b434.com Thank you to Silvio and The Intangible for allowing me to use their graphics and music. Remember about b434.com and about joining all social media. For more videos, go to my second YouTube channel. All links in the video description.